I have wondered, so I'm guessing you have also wondered, where does ProPresenter 7 store all the files and media that gets used in the software? And how do I back up my song library? Also, how do we transfer ProPresenter 7 content between computers? I'm gonna answer those questions in this video. I'm Nathan from Crazy Amazing Designs. I help teams and individuals to do church and event production with excellence. Let's get started by answering the question, how and where do ProPresenter 7 files get stored? So inside of the ProPresenter 7 interface, or is also called the operator screen, here you can see I have my libraries with songs and other presentations. I have media in the media bin. I also have different themes for sermon notes and worship lyrics. I have looks to transform my output. I have macros set up to quickly change the look of my output, which I can monitor in this one by three or two by two multi-view display. If you like this setup, I'm actually selling this ProPresenter 7 template on my store at crazyamazingdesigns.com. This template will get you all my looks, macros, themes, songs, and a few graphics that I just showed you. So walk up to a new computer, add this file into the documents folder, and everything you need in ProPresenter 7 is set up in just a few seconds. So back to our computer, let's navigate to the documents folder because this is where ProPresenter 7 stores all of this user data and media files in the folder called ProPresenter. If I close ProPresenter 7, now delete this ProPresenter folder. Now reopen ProPresenter 7. You see that all of our media and user settings are gone. Themes are empty, macros are gone, songs are missing. Opening ProPresenter 7 to this is definitely an eerie feeling and it might be the reason why you have come to this video. So let's close ProPresenter 7 again, and in the Documents folder, I see that ProPresenter 7 automatically created a new folder called ProPresenter. This happened as soon as I reopened ProPresenter 7 after deleting the old file. ProPresenter 7 constantly is looking to confirm this file exists because without this file, it can't store songs, media, or any other user settings. So if it's not there, it just creates a new folder and stores all these things in it. So instead of deleting this new file, Let's go ahead and rename this ProPresenter folder to ProPresenter Empty. And now in the trash, I'm gonna go and put back my previous ProPresenter folder from the trash can. With this done, I can reopen ProPresenter 7 and everything is back the way it was when we first looked at the interface. Pro7 only looks at the folder called ProPresenter, so changing the name is a great way to remove it from being used without actually deleting it. Realistically, you should never need to mess with this ProPresenter folder unless you'd like to create a subfolder to store your themes. Open the themes folder and select your existing themes folders and add them to this new folder. Now in ProPresenter 7, you can see they've been added to another subfolder. The other reasons to mess with this file is to save a backup of your ProPresenter 7 files, which is what I wanna look at next. To back up your Pro7 files, you can simply copy and paste this ProPresenter folder from documents to any other location or to an external storage drive. Also, if you just duplicate this folder and then change the name of the duplicate to be anything but ProPresenter, I like to add old to the end of the existing file name, but date should probably work better. Then just keep it in my documents folder. This isn't exactly secure because like they say, unless it's in six places, it's not actually backed up. Another option is to open ProPresenter 7 and now in settings click sync. This is another way to sync files in and out of ProPresenter 7. Here you can select a folder to sync or to sync from. I've created a test folder on my desktop and I'm gonna choose all five options and at the bottom I'll choose to sync up or to this folder. Now I'll push sync to copy all these files to the selected destination folder. This is a cool way to sync files in ProPresenter 7. Unfortunately, this isn't a task that can run automatically, so the only way to use it is to click sync, which makes this feature is actually quite useless for now. Hmm. I really think it's better to not use this feature and to copy and then paste the ProPresenter folder in documents to an offsite or cloud backup solution. I wanna tell you about the resources on my shop at crazyamazingdesigns.com. I have released a ProPresenter template that is very simple to install and will get you up and running with everything you need in ProPresenter 7. I have pre-set up macros to control different looks for worship, sermon notes, stream content. This is my personal ProPresenter file that I use on all of my machines. No more setting up looks for streaming on every new machine. This is also a great way to support the work that I'm doing here. Now let's move on to transferring data between computers. 
If you want to move your entire ProPresenter setup to another computer, then simply copy and paste the ProPresenter file from documents to a USB drive, load it on the new computer, and add it to the documents folder. If there is an existing ProPresenter folder, you can just delete it or just rename it. With the transferred file added into documents, ProPresenter 7 is set up just like it was on the old machine. This is exactly what you need to do if you bought a new computer and want to set up the new one the same as the old one. However, if you're only looking to transfer presentation items, which includes songs and sermon notes between computers, the first question is how many do I need to transfer? If it's just one song that you want to send to another machine, or if it's the pastor sending you his sermon notes as a ProPresenter 7 file, then in Pro 7, locate the file in the library, right click and select show in Finder. Right click on the library item that is and select show in Finder. If you want to transfer multiple presentation items, a playlist is a great way to do this. If everything is not already inside of a playlist, then add them all to a single playlist. This groups presentation items together and now we can easily export and transfer a playlist. So right click on the playlist and select export. Then select a destination on your computer. Now you can use AirDrop or a USB stick to quickly transfer these files. On the other computer with ProPresenter 7 installed, double click on either of these files and they will be added to your ProPresenter 7 library. If you use the playlist method, you're going to also get a playlist, but all of the songs will be added to the existing library. If you don't need the playlist, just delete it after using it. I really appreciate those of you who have chosen to subscribe to Crazy Amazing Designs. Your support is huge. I'm on a mission to help churches do production with excellence. I'm Nathan, and thank you for watching. See you in the next time. Bye.